Okay, folks, this is the next project. This is where we're going to learn to do a ripple stitch. And I'm actually going to make this project. Um, you don't have to make the whole project to learn the ripple stitch, okay? Um, there's variations on ripple stitches. But this particular project right here from Yonspirations is the one I'm going to complete. And I'm going to teach you the ripple stitch by starting this project. This calls for four shades of yarn in the Red Heart Soft Variety. Well, I'm going to have to substitute because I don't have those. Um, and it calls for uh, uh, A, B, C, and D colors. And this color sequence, as you see here, you do two rows of A, two rows of B, two rows of C, two rows of D, and then back to two rows of A again, and do that sequence eight times, and that makes the entire lap gan. And you begin to, by chaining 115 with your A color. Um, so, the A color here is, is Red Heart Soft in Toast. Um, I'm substituting this Red Heart Comfort yarn in Taupe. It's just a probably a little bit lighter brown. It may not be lighter. I don't know for sure. Uh, the second color, B, is a teal. Red Heart Soft in Teal. Well, I'm substituting this... Comfort, uh, sorry, Karen one pound yarn in Hosta. It's not a deep, as deep a teal as they're using here, but it's just a blue green color. So I'm, I'm substituting this in Hosta. Color C is a light gray heather. Well, I'm substituting this Karen one pound in the color Dove. Hi, Dove J. <laughs> uh, so this is going to be my C color. My D color is wheat, red heart soft and wheat. Well, I don't have a wheat, but I do have, and so wheat would be um, this color next to the tan, the dark tan right there. You got a dark tan, you got a toast color, a wheat, a gray, and a teal. Um, well, the wheat color, I'm substituting this Hirschner's uh, worsted yarn in pecan. So these are my four colors for my lap can. If you want to do the whole project, you can download this Yarnspirations pattern. It's called Ripple Crochet Lap Gan, designed by Marianne Forrestal. It is on the Yarnspirations website. Uh, and I'll just we'll just get started on this. I'm going to show you how to do the ripple, the ripple stitch by starting this project myself. So um, and by the way, <laughs> my um, <laughs> my overhead uh, tripod did not arrive. It is still in South Carolina. The company said if it doesn't arrive by the end of today, get back in contact with them. I don't know what they're going to do about it. Um, I, maybe it'll arrive eventually, but I still don't have my my setup that I wanted for this. So um, I'm going to see what happens with that. But in the meantime, this is these are the colors I'm using for this lap gan and uh, I may have to get started with the setup that I'm currently using, and we'll see. So that's what I'm going to do. This is just an introduction to what we're doing. And, uh, oh, by the way, I was at Walmart today, and I saw, I haven't had a Super Saver yarn in ages, but I saw this color. It's called Jumbo Stripes. This is a 400 and, I don't know, 400 and something yards, uh, 482 yards. It's, the, it's a Jumbo Super Saver. And this colorway it's called Sutherland Stripes and I thought I was trying to find a solid there that matched one of these colors well guess what when this this arrived in Hosta look at that look at how well that coordinates this Karen one pound in Hosta with Super Savers Jumbo Stripes in Sutherland Stripe look at that there's my coordinating color if I really want to do something but it felt softer than I remember Super Saver being so uh, I thought I can't resist that that is a really beautiful colorway so I bought that today so this is these are my colors and we're going to get started on this pretty soon um, hopefully within the next couple of days so that's all everybody uh, if you want to make this lap again and these kind of colors download that pattern and uh, get you four colors um, now, you're going to need, this says you're going to need two balls of each of the four colors. Each of these balls of Red Heart Soft Yarn is 256 yards. So you're going to need two of them. So you're going to need about 500 yards of each of the four colors. That's why I have such big skeins of yarn here.
you're going to need about 500 yards. Now, you don't have to do this colorway. You, this is just to do this pattern. You can do this in any color you want. You could do it a solid color. You could do it in two colors and alternate the colors. So you can do it any color you want. The stitch is going to be the same. And uh, thought I'd just let you know that. Uh, get ready for the project and get ready to learn the ripple stitch. Bye.